earlier this year, you made a big announcement when it came to American Express and the relationship that you have with that business. Can you remind our viewers what exactly that entails and uh, you know what's happened in the months since you made that announcement in the spring? We're obviously delighted to be a part of American Express's value proposition for their recently relaunched Gold Card. Uh, and just to give you a sense of what that value proposition is, specific to Travel Leaders Group, is that it centers and focuses on a travel benefits program called the Travel Collection. So the Travel Collection is now part of the benefit that every gold and platinum card member has available to them. And the benefit is really a series of discounts and amenities and upgrades that are available across all of the major travel categories, air, car, hotel, cruise, tour, etc. Um, so that's one part of the value proposition. The other part of the value proposition is the fulfillment of those travel benefits is really undertaken by a core group of travel advisors from different brands of Travel Leaders Group who've gone through the requisite training from a compliance and governance standpoint to be able to service and fulfill travel for American Express card members, gold and platinum, who opt into this program to receive access to these benefits that are in the travel collection. In addition to that, they also, these travel advisors who opt into this program as part of the travel collection are, are also able to redeem and fulfill travel using the membership rewards uh, balances of these card members. So they've also got the ability to be able to book and convert those membership rewards into uh, essentially dollars that are applicable towards what of travel these card members desire. So it really gives card members yet another range of options available to them to utilize their card and their card benefits to not only receive access to very specific unique discounts and amenities, but also the ability to apply their membership rewards to, to use towards this travel all in the hands of an experienced travel advisor who can give them the best kind of advice and shape, I think, their travel plans into an unforgettable experience. How many agencies have gotten on board? You know, what kind of progress are you seeing as this, this relationship develops? Yeah, we launched this relationship really in a beta form, uh, approximately the middle of this year. And as you may be aware, American Express actually only formally relaunched the Gold Card a number of weeks ago. So the program has really just gotten started. We had fairly ambitious goals to have a couple of thousand agents, I think certainly opted in from Travel Leaders Group from amongst our 52,000 plus agents. Uh, and we're well on track to meeting or exceeding that by year end where these agents will have essentially signed up to become part of the travel collection to fulfill uh, card members' desires for utilizing those benefits. On the American Express side, we will begin marketing and advising American Express card holders of this benefit that's available to them. So if you happen to be a gold or platinum card member, if you go to your card portal, you'll actually see a tile in the benefit section today that's entitled the travel collection. You have to actually formally opt in to receive this benefit. There's no cost to it. So we've had a number, uh, again, of American Express card members beginning to opt in. And as American Express continues their marketing efforts in coordination with us, we, accept that, we expect that will significantly increase in the weeks and months to come. And the, then, of course, the third constituency besides our advisors and the card members are suppliers. We had an initial launch set of suppliers, airlines, hotels, cruise lines, rental car companies, etc., participate to create unique benefits and amenities that were present in the launch of the travel collection. And now that the program is formally launched, we know there's existing demand from other suppliers who want to participate to access this very attractive demographic. And also non-traditional suppliers in the form of destinations, etc., who are interested in putting together specific product, content, itineraries that would be of interest to these card members. So really off to a rousing start across all these different constituencies who are coming together to create this travel benefit program called the Travel Collection. Is there any other news that you want the travel industry to be aware of when it comes to Travel Leaders Group? Is there anything that comes to mind uh, that people might not know right now, but, but that they should be paying attention to? You know, Greg, I think, you know, I talked about this in a couple other forums, but I sort of feel we're at this cusp of a renaissance in travel. Obviously, at the supplier level, just a whole host of investment going into making travel travel experiences all the more alluring. But I think part of the untold story in all of this is very much, I think, that renaissance part applying to the travel advisor part of this industry. So I certainly believe travel is very much about the human experience, right? We're all travelers 
regardless of wherever you think you might have originated from, consensus is certainly it was some point in Africa several hundreds of thousands of years ago. So we're really travelers from our earliest iteration. And I think inherent in that experience is experiencing humanity along the way. That's certainly part of the reason I travel. And I believe that travel experience starts not when you begin your journey, but when you're starting to ideate and think about all of these wonderful things you want to go and experience. And when that experience can involve an expert, an advisor, another human being who can help qualify, shape, inform, I think educate you about that experience, put it all together, make it all work and deliver it seamlessly. I think that's what people are increasingly beginning to appreciate. And this untold story, uh, uh, you know, where people had these defined viewpoints of travel advisors, it's really allowing a rebirth and kind of a phoenix rising out of the ashes. And I think that's the part for me when I think about, you know, 2018 for us being the year of the travel agent that has this wonderful capstone in terms of our new offices that we're moving into and the fact that travel advisors are increasingly being seen by the suppliers in the industry as not just a essential part, but an integral part of, I think, making these experiences come to life. So I feel like we're seeing this rebirth of the travel advisor side of it. And we very much see ourselves at the vanguard of it, certainly at the luxury end, being the, certainly the most significant player globally in this business, but really, I think, help reshape that consumer perception in delivering experiences. Well, and those are some great final thoughts to head out on. And uh, we really appreciate your time as always. It's always such a pleasure to talk to you uh, and wish you all the best in the months and years to come. Thank you so much, Greg. We really appreciate you being here and enjoy the trade show and the Elevate experience. This is Greg Schillinglaw for Insider Travel Report. Mm -hmm.